As we continue the pandemic, I haven't been making that many videos. One of the reasons why is, A, there's a lot of really good YouTubers covering the most important topics, and I've just been doing the, the self-isolation just kind of like in a van. Like, I haven't been doing something super exciting. I'm not on some exi ex exotic island, or, or I'm not like in some African safari uh, doing the pandemic. You know, I'm just kind of in California in a van, and that's it. Just watching videos and then taking walks in various places. I'm trying something different too. I'm using the Canon GX7 to film it. And I'm going to try to transfer all the video to the iPad and then edit it from there. Uh, everything sort of like Wi-Fi wise is closed. Like Starbucks is all this stuff. So even uploading the video to YouTube has kind of become a new challenge a bit. Uh, I did get my debit card it had a very very nice chunk of change on it I paid off two credit cards now I've got four credit cards but one of them had a like $70 balance the other one had a hundred and fifty and then my other one has like 400 and then the fourth one has like a thousand so I did pay off two and I, I I use my credit cards when I do those promos and then the next set of unemployment checks I'll pay off the other one then I'll just have one more credit card with a thousand dollar uh, balance balance on it I'm not one of these people that's swimming in like twenty thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt I'm still also not putting in my faith in everything because like I got a letter today from unemployment so it says right here obviously I, I flipped the thing uh, that would have my address I, I kind of flipped it around but time sensitive material all this stuff what it was was an email they already sent me about an adjustment it pretty much just says uh, my total claim benefits are like 8,500 and something and it's now like 8,480 it's it's like $30 off from the adjustment I'm like okay but every time one of these letters come I get really nervous and the, this happened with the same thing uh, let me cover my address I got a letter from the Treasury Department uh, right here from the Treasury Department so uh, and it says penalty and all this sort of stuff and and I'm freaking out because I'm like they, they found out you know the jig is up they found out I sold a couch back in 2000 you know 15 on Craigslist or something like that and you know I'm gonna owe all this money to the IRS and I'm worried about the unemployment thing because I'm just wondering if one day you're gonna get one of these letters that just says like they found something out or I made an error somehow and, and like they're going to cancel your benefits and it's like receipts you know it's just like hey this is an update or they're sending letters letting me know my rights which is fine and, and they should send those but every time something comes in the mail I, it's like like you're being broken up like you just kind of feel your stomach fall like you know like all you gotta take a shit right away you know and so this letter was from the white house that was from the treasury department and it has Donald Trump's signature and it just says, hey, your stimulus check has come. We're all in this together, blah, blah, blah. And I'm freaking out because it says Treasury Department, you know, sensitive material penalties. And I'm thinking this is it. I, I messed up on my taxes. Something happened. I'm going to end up owing, you know, $10,000 because I sold a couch on Craigslist or, you know, something weird. Oh, God, you know, um, even though I'm not in any trouble and I work on a W-2, I'm not in any trouble with the IRS. There's just always that little thing that you, you just think you made an error somewhere and something happened. Um, so, I got the first payment for unemployment. came a lot later, like close to six weeks. But the, uh, the, the Trump dollars uh, from the stimulus package obviously helped a lot. So, that, the $1,200 helped me out. And that came about a week after my last paycheck, which was pretty high. And then the 1200 came and then about another three or four weeks later, uh, my unemployment came. Now my unemployment, ooh, that's good. I am not gonna lie. Uh, I'm making more not working than working. Uh, I'm making about an extra 280 a week, not showing up to work. So I'm one of the people benefiting from it. Uh, we wanna get through this and the pandemic needs to be over, but not gonna lie, I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous because, like I said, at any time somehow all this could go away. But at the same time, I'm like, ooh, you know, we can. I don't mind extending this. You know, I'm one of the few people that's kind of making more, not working, then working. 
Um, that being said, I decided to go this route if you've been following my journey because I was sort of nervous and scared. Uh, you know, the last time I was unemployed was 2008. And the issue is, is I don't know what's gonna happen. So I was like, okay, my rent's X amount of money. You know, what if all this unemployment's backed up? A lot of people are having trouble registering. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to destroy my credit. What's going on? You know, is am I going to be one of these people running out of food? All this stuff. Because the day you lose your job, all you know is your job is gone. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, you apply for the unemployment, but it takes forever to hear back. And you don't know if you're going to get it. So I moved into a van to protect like my last paycheck. Because at least I'll have food and gas and can cover my cell phone bill for an extended period of time. But now everything's fine I kind of feel a little bit sheepish but like you know I'm making more not working so I kind of did this whole thing and moved into my van uh, for safety and also now you know I'm like ooh, there was nothing really to panic about but like I said every letter I get in the mail I, or a phone call or something I'm, I'm freaking out that this is it like they're gonna cancel it I made an error something happened they called my employer my employer is going to you know counter my claim and you know all this sort of stuff so you can't help be a little bit nervous um and like i said it i'm grateful for the position i'm in you know i'm i'm, I'm making more money not working than working uh and i know a lot of people aren't in the best situation but at any point all this can completely go away so definitely uh taking the time to sort of set things aside I'm not going to go out and buy a new iPhone I'm not going to go out and buy a new laptop or anything like that just kind of weigh this out see what happens and I right now I kind of want to just sort of set the extra money aside I may have a nice meal here and there uh, you know maybe you find one of those restaurants that's doing carry out and get like a 15 or $20 meal I've been eating kind of junk uh, the past couple weeks you know uh, while we we're doing this I in one of my videos I showed I pretty much just got carbohydrated food so I've been living off that uh, and some cheap other food hot dogs and things like that Vienna sausages but yep uh, as of right now things are going good I'm making more money not working than I would be working I'm very fortunate I approved for the extra six hundred dollars and we will have to we will have to see how things go moving forward and I may try to do a little bit more updates but that's it for now so got my card making some cash and just uh, waiting out this quarantine and we'll see how it goes from there and my place is somewhat because I, I was running it from a friend it's still somewhat available but like I said Right now things seem good, but I don't know how things are going to be in the future So I'm going to continue this lifestyle for a bit because I may not see that second check or third check or You know things like that. So we'll have to see how it goes and go from there and just take it one day at a time Anyways, I wish you guys the best of luck and I know I don't have much of an audience But thanks for sticking out and uh, wish you guys the best. Bye